Hello, everybody. My name is Andrea with Dental L Tutoring. I have been tutoring dental hygiene and dental assisting students since 2005, so a long time now. If you are studying to take the board exam, definitely check out my website at the bottom, and I have a lot of courses for you to help you pass the board exam the first time. So definitely have a look. I help students study internationally. You will pass if you have the right methods to study. But in this video today, I want to kind of do a study group session with you guys. I'm going to teach you about gingivitis and perio. So this will be so much more fun than just simply reading your textbook, reading your notes from school and trying to figure things out. I'm actually going to teach it to you in a different way, whereas hopefully the light bulb is going to go off and you're gonna go, aha, now I get it. Believe me, I was a student once too. I will never forget those times. And I had that moment as well before I really understood gingivitis, before I really understood perio. I didn't understand the differences. I didn't understand, well, what if there's a four millimeter pocket? What if there's just one? What does that mean? What if the gums are red, bleeding everywhere, but there's no pockets? What does that mean? I was very confused too, but I'm gonna make this so much easier for you. So guys, I'm just gonna share my screen here. And I want to talk to you guys about something very obvious first. Okay, so this is a healthy tooth. This is a healthy tooth, um, a healthy bone, a healthy gum on this side. But then you look on the other side, notice how the gum is red. The bone is irritated. The bone is starting to shrink down and look at the tooth. There is brown, yellow spots here. So this is healthy and this is not healthy. Okay, basically something simple, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. Sorry, is this easier for you to see? I made the screen bigger. So talking about gingivitis and perio, the one difference that I want you guys to know is gingivitis is reversible. Meaning if, if your patient has gingivitis and they may, they um, reverse things, they start brushing, they, they, they start taking better care of their mouth, gingivitis can go away. But periodontal disease cannot go away, but it can be maintained. It can even get a little bit better in some cases, but it can't completely go away. Gingivitis has to do with um, the gum. So the gums around everything inside the mouth, your gum primarily, okay? So if that's the easiest way to think about it, think gingivitis includes the gums, whereas peri periodontal disease includes so much more. Periodontal disease includes the attachment levels of the bone and the gums, basically the attachment level and the bone. That's how I like to explain it. Um, once the bone starts to shrink away, like in this picture, you can't just build the bone back. If your attachment levels, if your gum around the teeth starts shrinking away, you can bring that back. You can make that better, but you can't just magically grow new uh, bone. So does that make sense? So those are the clear differences. Gingivitis is reversible. Periodontal disease is not, but you can maintain it. You would never say to a patient, you have early perio, so you're out of luck. Too bad, so sad, you are out of luck. You would never say that. The key about gingivitis and perio is we don't want it to get worse. But especially with periodontal disease, which is worse than gingivitis, we definitely don't want it to get worse because then they can start to lose the tooth. Gingivitis, think, think about the gums, the tissues. Periodontal disease, think about the attachment and the bone. Does that make sense so far? When we're talking about pocketing, so perioprobing, as soon as there's one four millimeter pocket, they have periodontal disease. Even if it's just one, they have localized periodontal disease. If it's more than 30% of the mouth, those four millimeter pockets or higher, they have generalized periodontal disease. But then you have to be more specific. Do they have chronic or, or acute periodontal disease? Chronic happens slowly over a long period of time, whereas acute happens quickly. The clear differences there would be chronic is most patients, okay? Most patients. Whereas if it's acute, that is if they have a popcorn kernel stuck in there. That is why the gum is red, irritated, bleeding. That's why they probably have a pocket. 
But once that's taken away, it's going to get better. But it happened suddenly. They didn't have that popcorn kernel there for six months. Hopefully not. So when in doubt, pick chronic. I do explain more inside the course. So definitely have a look at the full um, board exam prep academy where I do offer full teaching, full board exam prep online. You learn like this with me online, including mock exams. So definitely have a look at that. But do you guys understand so far the difference between gingivitis and perio? But then you have to, like I said, think about acute or chronic, and then is it localized or generalized? But then you have to say, is it early, moderate, or severe? Early perio is four millimeters. Moderate is as soon as you hit that five millimeters, and severe, depending on the textbook you read, is typically six to seven millimeters. It could be six, it could be seven or more. How I do it is early is four millimeters, moderate is five millimeters, and severe is as soon as you hit uh, seven or above. So I'm going to switch the slide here. So just kind of another way to show you guys. Look at this nice healthy tooth, the healthy tissue around it. The bone is super healthy, things look great. But then as soon as you go to this one, plaque and tartar is happening. You cannot have gingivitis or periodontal disease without plaque or tartar. So what I basically tell patients is if you take really good care of your teeth, brush twice a day, use the water pick. If you don't like to use the floss once a day, throw in a mouthwash every day, have your teeth cleaned every six months. That is a really good start to not having this happen. But once you have gingivitis or perio, it can get better or at the very least maintained. But look at the difference. The tissues are starting to get inflamed, red, swollen. Look at the bone level right here. It is shrinking down. Uh-oh, not good. That tooth is being held together by the bone. The more the bone shrinks, the tooth can fall out. Not cool, not fun. Next one here. So this is an example of gingivitis where it might not look this bad. Gingivitis could be something as simple as the gums are getting more red. The gums should be a healthy pink neutral color. If it's dark pink, red, um, swollen, it just doesn't look healthy, then that's gingivitis. This is a, a very clear example of if the gums are bleeding, you, the patient, has gingivitis. But if you start taking care of your mouth and having your teeth cleaned, that gingivitis will go away. This can happen in children, teenagers, adults, seniors, anybody can get it if you do not take care of your mouth. This is an extreme example of periodontal disease. Do you guys see the difference? Gingivitis, whoa, perio, especially this tooth right here. This is an example of your tissue, the gum tissue and the bone should be right along here. Remember you guys, this root of the tooth should not be showing this yellow area the roots of your teeth are not white. They're like an off yellow color. All of these areas that are off yellow, that is the root surface showing. That should always be covered by the gum and the bone. If it's not covered, that means something's going on. But even this, you guys, it's not a lost cause. They just need to take better care of their mouth. They probably need to have their teeth cleaned every three months, like just to really maintain it. Six months won't be good enough because it's much easier to get cavities, more plaque, more tartar if they have periodontal disease. But you can maintain it so it doesn't get worse and they lose the teeth. Does that make sense, you guys? Does anybody have any questions whatsoever? Let me know. That was our study session about gingivitis and perio. If you need more, if you want to learn more, have a look at the link down below at dentalL.com, where I do offer full prep courses where we learn online just like this, everything you have to know for the board exam, but obviously more in depth. Like my gingivitis class is probably an hour of gingivitis. My periodontal disease class is an hour of periodontal disease. I don't know how long this video is, but it was not an hour. So there's just more to it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like to the video. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to upload study videos every Monday. 
So please keep on checking back. If you want a certain topic that you want me to talk about, comment below and I will add that to my list. So come back every month, every Monday, click like you guys, and I will teach you more. Thank you guys again. Have a great evening and we will talk soon.